I am at Ottawa, Kansas, and I am standing in front of the Franklin County Courthouse. It was said to have been built in 1892, and I'm going to turn around and show you that, but first I want to show you what I'm looking at across the street. Straight across the street, this is the downtown. It's a really old building that's been painted kind of a pinkish and blue. At the top, they have the same year, 1892. Next door, two buildings down, they have 1881. And to the left of that first building, they have 1887. I was just thinking about how they don't do that any longer. They don't build a building and put in big letters at the top what year it was built in. This says this was built in 1893. I'll let you see this courthouse. And on the, above the door, they have the year that it was built. 1893 it's like they want somehow everyone to know exactly when these were built of course something they never do any longer so you don't have any way to know but on old buildings they always put that at the top and if in fact these buildings were built at a much earlier date but at that time refurbished and that's when they added the date at the top that's just something to consider because something happened to all these buildings and what happened in all these buildings is evident on the lower levels which i'm going to show you shortly i want you to see up above the statue that they put there and this is incredible architecture and symbols all over this building but then we get down and see stairs that really look like they're constructed at a later time you have to walk up to the first floor or again down to the first floor <laughs> whichever the first floor is going to be but you can see that the land is all the level of right to the lower windows and this is only 130 years old roughly and when they're saying it was built and if you look at the construction difficulty at a time when there was supposedly only horse and buggy it's pretty incredible now if there's another level below this and this is actually a second or third floor already who knows it would be buried but we're at least this deep this is about five and a half feet right here and we walk down these steps to get to the front door And it seems as if the second story was added at a later time because this looks to be cement slab that's put down above here on these steel I-beams. I seriously doubt that that cement slab was there at the time that this would have been the actual front right here. But it's hard to say because there's absolutely no pictures of the construction of these buildings. None of the ones I've shown you. It's impossible to find actual construction pictures, uh, digging, prepared holes in the ground. So, if this porch was added at a later date, it's really hard to say. That would make sense that the base would have cement poured for it at that time. 
but I can't imagine that they would make a building like this. at a level that is up. Then really the people really can't get in without going up or down stairs at a time when they would have had to dig an incredible hole in the ground and haul every one of these massive stones and bricks in a buggy or a wagon pulled by a horse. This is really evidence of a, a major event happening in which the original levels of these buildings have been buried below all this ground and the street levels, the ground levels, all the levels have been raised in some way, which sounds amazing, but all the evidence is there. When things are buried, it's hard to see the presentation to the front that you know it wasn't a basement. But when these buildings have been dug away from and you can do a search online and look at images all around the world when these buildings have been dug away from you'll see the presentation to the front that it was actually originally built as a multi much a much higher uh, building or should I should say the lower levels down low are actually or were actually exposed at that time and were covered and they had to be basically reformatted or refurbished to change that and cover that up that would have been the top of a window there all these windows go to the lower level that aside just looking at the amazing construction of these buildings at a time when this area was just initially being settled without any construction pictures and without any way to know how they could ever accomplish this feat with horses and wagons in a time when something would have to basically possess the people to come in numbers and uh, arrive in numbers and want to settle out in a place where there's hardly anything and why they would need a building that large at that time really doesn't make sense it really points to the idea that these buildings have been here for far longer than that and that these devices on the top these antenna were actually for a technology that could provide power and store that power in the red brick that's an entire other study but these this red brick is operates like a battery and holds a charge and in the same way static electricity is picked up on your body it is possible to get um, through technologies to get that electricity from the atmosphere and store it in a battery. It's food for thought. You can put uh, what you think about it in the comments down below. But everywhere, the, the construction of these buildings being off kilter from the ground like this, with the massive amount of work that it would take to dig that deep and also just construct a building like that at that time really seems uh, not realistic like and subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next video